oil and water in a U-shaped tube. A narrow U-shaped glass tube with open ends, with open ends, is filled with L oil equals 25 centimeters of oil of specific gravity, that is to say density relative to that of water, is specific gravity SG oil equals 0 0.8 and L water equals 25 centimeters of water on opposite sides with a barrier separating the liquids. So we have a U-shaped tube A and B left side and right side open to atmosphere. One side is filled with water, one side is filled with oil. There is a barrier in the middle and they have the same length initially and the density of the oil is 80% that of density of water. Part A. Assume that the two liquids do not mix and find the final heights of the columns of liquid in each side of the tube after the barrier is removed. So first thing we do is remove the barrier. And part B. For the following cases, arrive at your answer by simple physical reasoning, not calculations. What would be the height on each side if the oil and water had equal densities? And in the second scenario, what would be the heights if the oil's density were much less than uh, that of water? So oil density is much less than that of water. Okay, so let's start with part A. So what are we doing in part A? Removing this barrier, trying to find the equilibrium heights. So since the density of water is greater, greater than the density of oil. So we have density of water, raw water, greater than the density of oil, which is equal to 0 0.8 times the density of water. That's the specific gravity. So when the barrier is removed, the pressure on the water side will be higher. Why higher? Because it has a higher density. The weight is, the weight per area will be higher than the pressure on the oil side. So we will have a heavier water, the same volume, uh, and the density is higher. Therefore, the pressure is higher on the uh, water side compared to that of the pressure on the oil side. So what will happen when we remove the barrier? Because the pressure on this side is higher, it's going to start moving in this direction. So the water level will start decreasing. So L water will decrease. And until when? Until the pressure on the two sides will be equal. The pressure on the two sides should be the same at equilibrium. So uh, the motion will stop when the pressure on this side and on this side will be the same. So the pressures should be the same. Okay, so uh, let's think about this. The water level is decreasing by an amount delta y so that the water will move to this side. The barrier is removed and now we have the new uh, water level here, delta y on this side too. Now the oil level increases by delta y. Uh, so it's basically going up. So if I look at the pressure on the left side and the pressure on the right side at the bottom, so let's consider this boundary here, uh, the where we had the boundary initially, but we don't have it anymore because water has uh, gone through the tube. So the new pressure on the left side will be equal to, now we have the atmospheric pressure here, so we have P0, atmospheric pressure, plus the density of water, because we only have water on the left side, rho g. Now, the initial uh, length of the water column, L water, which has now decreased to L water minus delta y. So we have the P0 plus 
rho g l water minus delta y or rho g h which is the height of this column now if i look at the pressure on the right side p right again starting from here i have the atmospheric pressure p0 then i have all of this filled with oil so therefore i'm going to have the density of oil rho oil g l oil and then i have uh, this part uh, amount of delta y that is filled with water now because water has gone through this gone through this boundary so rho water g delta y so when is equilibrium established at equilibrium the pressures on two sides should be the same so i'm going to require that the pressure on the left side is equal to the pressure on the right side so i need to ask uh, rho water g l water length of the water column minus rho water g delta y equal to rho oil g l oil plus rho water g delta y the pressure on the right side as you can see uh, i had the same term p0 on both sides so basically they disappear from the equations so there's plus p0 here plus p0 here they cancel out okay so this gives me uh rho water g l water minus rho water g delta y equal to now for rho oil i substitute 0 0.8 times rho water so 0 0.8 rho water because of the specific gravity g l uh, oil now l oil is equal to l water it was they are both equal to 25 centimeters remember l oil and l water are the same thing 25 centimeters initially and then i have plus rho water g delta y and if i take this to the right hand side i'm going to obtain 0 0.2 times rho water g l water equal to uh, this goes to the right side and adds up to two twice rho water um, density of water g delta y so what do i find delta y is equal to 0 0.2 over 2 0 0.1 times l water okay so what happens water level decreases to 0 0.9 times the original length that is to say it was 25 centimeters now it is 22.5 centimeters decreased by 10 percent and oil level increases increases to a 1.1 times l so i'm going to have 27.5 centimeters so this uh, new level here new water level here is uh, 0.9 l and then i have the new oil level here with respect to the bottom this is now 1.1 times l all right so let's move on to the second part the second part says what happens if they have the same density if rho w equal to rho oil then the pressures on the two sides would be the same The same to start with so there would be no change there would be no change in the height of the water and oil columns 
because I already have equilibrium here. In this case, they have the same density, then they have the same weight per area. The pressures on two sides will be the same. No need for motion of any uh, liquid here, so it's going to remain at equilibrium. Uh, and in the second scenario, what happens if the density of water is much greater than density of oil? Now, if I look at my uh, equation here, density of water, G L water minus density of water G delta Y is equal to density of oil G L oil plus density of water G delta Y. Now, once again, L oil, what I call L oil and L water, it's L, they're the same thing, 25 centimeters. So here I get raw water minus raw oil, raw water minus raw oil times G times L. So for uh, these guys I substitute L is equal to uh, 2 raw water, raw water G delta Y. Now, what is raw water minus raw oil? It's approximately equal to raw water in this scenario because raw water is much greater than raw oil. So I'm going to neglect the density of the oil compared to the density of water. Then I will obtain raw water G times L is equal to twice raw water G times delta Y which will give me a delta Y of L over 2. So this time I obtain a delta Y of L over 2. In the previous scenario, I obtained 0.1 times L. Okay, so what happened here? Column, uh, on column A, the water column on the left, the water level would be at uh, 0.5 so reduce 50% times 25, which is 12.5 centimeters. And on column B, the oil level would be at 1.5 times 25, which is 37.5 centimeters. So it will be increased by 50% on the oil side, decreased by 50% on the water side, on the left side. So why does that happen? Uh, now, saying that the density of oil is negligible compared to that of water, what you want to have is as if you, there is no oil here, you want to ha have same levels of water on the two sides and the weight of the oil is negligible. So you would have uh, this reduced to half of its value and that half will go up here and it will also move the oil level up uh, 50%. So we would see that since the weight of the oil would be negligible, all right, there would be equal heights of water columns on the two sides so that the pressures, which we assume to be primarily due to water on two sides will be the same. We're neglecting the effect of having oil in this scenario. Okay, so we talked about oil and water in a U-shaped tube. We have two portions of the tube, A and B, both open to atmosphere. So outside pressure is P0, atmospheric pressure. And uh, the left tube is filled with water. The right tube is filled with oil. There is a barrier right in the middle between the two uh, segments of this U-shaped tube and when the barrier is removed given that the density of the oil is 0.8 times that of water what will be the equilibrium uh, levels of water and oil because water is heavier compared to oil the same volume but uh, higher mass because the higher because of the higher density we would see that the water will push this uh, push down and therefore the oil level will go up, water level will go down until we reach the same pressure on two sides. 
and then we consider the scenario when the densities of these two liquids are the same or density of this liquid is much greater than that of the oil okay so in the uh, first scenario because the weight of the uh, water is greater compared to weight of the oil the uh, the water level comes down and the oil level increases and as the oil level increases this boundary between the two layers of liquids will increase uh, to the right hand side and that's assuming that they don't mix okay the pressure on the left side is p0 plus uh, rho g uh, times the new height of the water level the new height because this part is removed is basically l minus delta y the pressure on the right side is p0 atmospheric pressure plus rho gl oil rho oil gl oil all of the oil column is here plus i have an additional water column which is rho gw rho w g w d delta y Okay, so at equilibrium, these two pressures are the same. That gives me delta Y equals 0 0.1 times L. Water level decreases to 0 0.9 L. Oil level increases to 1.1 L. The additional 0.1 L comes from this water that has entered this region. Okay, if the densities were the same, there would be no need for this level to decrease and this level to increase because the pressures on two sides would be equal to start with. If the density of water is much greater than density of oil, then this would behave as if there is no pressure due to the oil here. And to equilibrate the pressure on two sides, we would ask for the same height of the water column. And we can see that explicitly in this equation, uh, when we substitute for raw oil zero compared to raw water, uh, we obtain delta y equals L over 2. So the water level decreases 50%, oil level increases 50%. That's because the weight of the oil is negligible. We need to have equal heights of water columns on the two sides.